Hi Louise. So, a bit to get through here, and this is only the first bit of the song. Uh, so, Day in the Light first, and then uh, I'll just do the Rocky Raccoon stuff at the end. <clears throat> okay, so the way I've written it out on the sheet there, just the way it kind of meanders, uh, kind of needed a couple of little arrows to kind of go back here and there, so I'll just talk through that, right? So, um, so we'll start at the top, right? So we've got G, B minor, so that's your A minor up two frets, E minor, E minor 7, so there's E minor and there's the, the 7th there, 3rd fret on the B string. Then you've got the C. So there's 4 C's on the sheet there, so you've got 1, 2, 1, 2, so that's one of them, okay, so 1, 2, I saw the news today. So, so then, so this is the next block. So we've got. C. C with B in the bass, more or less. So it's all that is is just C, then you bring the middle finger up, uh, up a string, and then take off the uh, third finger, blocking the sixth string the whole time. Two A minors. Now that little piano thing that he does during this bit is a little add nine. And then back to the G. Now if you don't want to make that reach, you can just, what you can do to get this note up here is just open up the B string here. It's not exactly the same because you're kind of missing out on this note now, but... So just uh, for that bit then, you can either reach up here, little finger, fourth fret on the G string for the A minor add nine. Nope, there we go. Or you can just do the A sus two, which involves adding the same note. We're just replacing this one here with it. Okay, so then next bit, we've got G, B minor again, two E minors, C, now an F. Now if, it, it is an F uh, as opposed to F major 7, right? But in this context, the F major 7 will work just fine. So there's the F, E major, up one fret. Or just the same thing, only you get your first finger here on the first fret of the B string. And, and just remember, if you're going to do it that way, uh, just make sure you <coughs> mute the sixth string. Um, so we're going... Yeah, so I'm going to take it from the, the first F in, in all of this. E minor. Then I've got written down there E minor with D in the bass. That's not the most practical chord to do on the guitar because there's the E bass note and I can't take that down by two, obviously, this is the lowest note I've got. So an E minor seven done this way. In both cases, the E minor seven just means you're adding a D to the chord. So that, that's a D note there. And of course the open D string is a D note as well. So they're both D mi E minor seven. So then we're going to uh, so we're, we're so that line uh, the two dots there we're we're skipping right through right past that going to the C F again E minor C and then a quick D and then we're uh, down on the next block G B minor E minor C B in the bass A minor. G, B minor, E minor, C, F, E minor, with the open D, and then we've got those two C's kind of sticking out towards the the uh, the right. And then we're going. Uh, you, you'll know what I'm talking about anyway once you see the page. It's just um, uh, kind of an hour right back up to the G. So you play down through that, uh, so from those two C's uh, that are on the second last line, you go right back up to the G um, uh, where it tells you to, you go down through it, and then that time, once you hit that line with the two dots, then you just skip down to the very last line. Um, So that's A minor with F sharp in the bass. Now there's two ways you can do that. You can do just A minor and get the thumb. And instead of muting it, we're actually holding it down. Or another way you can do it 
is to play the A minor like this. Like kind of just kind of uh, take your middle finger out, first finger, and then the third and fourth here, and then you get the middle finger over like that. Whichever one suits, it really doesn't make a difference. Uh, then a G, A, and then I think there's some kind of a B chord there, but you know that that's where it gets uh, it starts to get nuts. Okay, so that's um, the first. I think is it. Yeah, so that's just the first, just under two minutes of the song. Um, so then on to Rocky Raccoon. So, so we've got the A minor here. I think it, uh, I think it does it six times at the start, but every other time it's just two. So from here taking the middle finger down a string and that alone will get you to the D7 sus4 but you may as well get the third finger in second fret on the first string as well because the very next one you take off the third the little finger and then you've just got a D7 G7 kind of like a widened out C so we got first fret first finger first string and then ideally it's a C, but with your little finger on the third fret of the um, E string. Now that's still just a C, right? It's not like C, any kind of variation, because all you're doing is replacing an E note, which is already there anyway, with a G note, which is also already there anyway. So you're not, you're just changing the texture, not, not the actual chord. Um, and then just bring it, doing that the thing again, the C with B in the bass uh, loosely. Um, so that's just from there, middle finger goes up a string, take away the third finger. So here it is, here it is again. Now, just keep in mind with this one, right? Those are all just down strokes, right? If you do want to add in a couple of ups, you know, regardless of whether the guys themselves are doing it um, in that particular moment, just remember that it's a swung rhythm, not a straight rhythm, right? So it's not... So it's not that, right? It's this. And the difference is, is that the, the up is delayed a little bit, right? So in a straight rhythm, the up is exactly halfway between each down. In a straight rhythm, the up is two thirds of the way after the previous down, if you know what I mean. So there is straight and swung. Okay, but you don't really need, need to worry too much about that. There's not a whole lot of ups in it, apart from the little that bit. Problem. That's basically it. All right. So um, see you again with all that anyway, and uh, we'll see if you can finish a day in the life then next time. All right. Talk to you then.